You know that we want to have an Islamic state. We want to have an established, you know, what do you want to Baby, you can call me a superman. Cho 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 Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we um, specifically post um, reaction videos. So if you um, so if you want us to react to something that you find interesting or something that you want us to learn from, feel free to drop a link in the se comment section below and let us know. Give us a title, give us a link, whichever one you're comfortable with. Other than that, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny NGC 2.0 where we post weekly vlogs. We post those vlogs over the weekend, so you can just head there and just see what's going on. We've got some pretty cool vlogs that are up there and if you like you want to see something about our lives you can also suggest there other than that we've got a podcast you can find us on podbean and itunes diving in with funny and jesse and we've got some awesome conversations which you guys might enjoy listening to or maybe even contribute whichever one you're cool with and we've got um a patreon account so you guys feel free to become members other than that you can find us on Facebook as Funny and Jesse and Instagram for me, Funny and Jesse. We also do other things I write. And you can find me on Instagram, Instagram as Safani L and on WordPress as Blue. And you can just check out the things that I that I write. And guys, I hope you guys are doing all right. I hope everything is fine with you guys. And let us know how you're doing, how things are going on so far. A big shout out to the to our subscribers. You guys are the best. We thank you very much. A shout out to the people that comment and educate us and watch our stuff as well thank you thank you and thank you very much as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to ami did that why you why you are why why you afraid to identify yourself as a muslim so without wasting time let's get into the video at the airport and go to the immigration counter and the guy receives my passport he sees the valid visa issued by the French Embassy in South Africa. On the opposite page is blank and he stamps it. Charles de Gaulle Airport, 16 September. Then he looks up and he sees my headgear. And lights begin to flash in his head. <laughs> that this guy is a fundamentalist. <laughs> he is a terrorist. He is a fanatic. Yeah, this lights, this, this guy here, this uniform. So, now what to do? He doesn't look like the normal types of guys that come along, the Algerians, the Moroccans, clean-shaven, bareheaded. <laughs> Same thing happens here. JF Kennedy, JF Kennedy Airport. As soon as I arrived, same process. Passport, and the passport, visa is there, valid visa. So, he stamps it, and he looks up. Me, my son, and my grandson, we all have a headgear. <coughs> so he wants to know, so what is this for? He's not trying to be funny. He wants to know, what is this for? I said, no, this is my identity. I'm a Muslim. He said, what is a Muslim? No, no, Allah, he's not trying to be funny. You think the guy is trying to be funny? No, no. He's sincerely wanting to know what is a Muslim. I said, you know, we are 1,000 million Muslims in the world. We follow the religion of Islam. I said, doesn't know anything about that. An American officer of the American government, educated man, he knows nothing about Islam and about the Muslims. <coughs> this now attracts him. He said, what is this? Why, why you got this? Is this the this, this uniform of a terrorist or of a fanatic or a fundamentalist or what? What are you? What do you stand for? We know the Jews, they have some little caps at the back. <laughs> hmm? little, 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 little. But this thing here is something unusual. You know, it's much bigger and it covers your whole head. Everybody's whole head is covered. <laughs> then something clicks and says, Muslims, you people don't need the pig. I said, no, no, we don't need the pig. She so said, why? Look, he's a busy man. But look, he's hungry, he wants to know. Why? I'm thinking tens of thousands of Pakistanis have went through him, he went through them. 
tens of thousands of Iranians he's went through, and the Moroccans and the Algerians and the Saudis, all. But it didn't strike him at all. Why? Because all these tens of thousands that come into America, you have no identity. You have no identity. This guy, I'm getting into trouble because of my identity. It's a blessing. Well, this to me, it was also a blessing. What happened there? So, what I'm suggesting to my brothers, you know that we want to have a, a, a Islamic state. We want to have an uh, established, you know, what do you want to establish here? Khilafat. Khilafat. I said, very good, I'm for it, my brothers, I'm for it. But these soldiers, you, my soldiers, I want you to identify yourself. I want you to identify that you are a Muslim. Damn it all, in the streets I can't make you out, who's who? I can't wish you salams. But my brother there, he looks like a Frenchman. Or he looks like an Italian. Or he looks like a Greek. Am I right? Or a Spanish, you pass for anything. <laughs> yes, you, 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 you. you. <laughs> no, no, any, you pass for anything, you know. I said, look like a Greek, you look like an Italian, you look like anything, you can pass. Like a Jew, you know? <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing except the Jews also look like in a straight nose now, you know. No more those polynoses, you know, they're all mixed up with... <laughs> so, then you, you can, the guy just right, he stamps here, passport, passport, passport. You count for nothing. As soon as you have an identity, the person is interested in you. What do you stand for? Your uniform, this is your uniform. My uniform. In the, in the aeroplane from Chicago to here, the, the hostess is asking, what is this for, sir? Why you got this? He said, no, we are Muslims. This is to our identity. Look, they are asking us. Genuinely, they want to know. But you don't want to be recognized. And you want to establish as the Khilafah. Khilafah. You, my soldiers, you want to establish Khilafah. Huh? When you are terrified to own up that you are a Muslim and you want to have a Khilafah. What are you talking about? Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Learn to identify yourself, man. And opportunities, wallah, is creating opportunities. You, 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 my brothers, you want your wives and daughters and sisters to have the hijab. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Everybody must have hijab. And you, you don't want to be identified even as a Muslim. Nobody is telling you to have a... Uh, 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 to moon and star, you know, tattooed on your forehead. <laughs> Nobody's telling you that. But something simple, man, ordinary. The most harmless thing. And this identity gives you power. It will give you power, wallah. Everybody. We are 800,000, I'm told, in New York, Muslims. So they say, you know, if you only identify yourself, you'll appear like 8 million. Do you know that? In the streets. In Manhattan, in Brooklyn, wherever they see, white cap, white cap, white cap. Say, there's an invasion taking place. How, do, how does the American government allow these people to come in? So many. Huh? Look at them, look at them. The Afro-American, the Iranian, the Saudi, everybody, Pakistani. Everybody has got something on. Identity, identity. It terrifies the enemy and it boosts your morale. We didn't know we are so many Muslims here. But no, 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 you won't do it. I know. You... Inflict it on your wives and daughters. Hijab! Hijab! Mashallah! Mashallah! I'm for it, my dear brothers. I'm for it. But uh, what are you ashamed of? I want to know. Why are you ashamed to identify yourself? You want your wives and daughters to get a bashing? Nobody's bashing them. Why are you afraid that you'll be bashed? Somebody's going to hit you on the head for wearing this. No. Identity. So this Frenchman, he saw this identity and he saw this is something unusual. All the Moroccans come. Clean shaven and no hat. All the Tunisians come, clean shaven and no hat. All the Algerians come there, clean shaven, no hat. Right, they pass, they pass, they pass. This guy is something unusual. So he types my name on the computer and he finds me there. And it followed <laughs> three hours of interrogation. He wrote my whole history, they wrote my history. And they kept me for 11 hours and pushed me back to London, and all the troubles they gave me. Why? Why? A nuclear power. The land of liberty, fraternity, equality. You know that? The French Revolution. They boast about liberty, fraternity, equality. That nation is terrified of this hat. <laughs> huh?
and it ends there this is another interesting video i've come across and i like how he doesn't discriminate he could have easily spoken about another tribe and how they don't identify as themselves but he used muslims in this situation at the end of the day we have to think about it how many of us are coming from places that we don't identify as the minute i say i'm from this place someone else won't even in university such things happen while well, we go to school and we're afraid to say oh i'm from zambia i would rather claim another country and say i'm from this or maybe south africa or zimbabwe whatever the case is uh, just to fit in which doesn't make sense we need to be proud people let's be proud of where we come from whenever we're going to whatever place we're going to whether another country whether meeting other people whatever the case let's be proud there is many people that are proud of themselves some nigerians uh, ghanaians you name it at the end of the day this identification thing doesn't only do with religion thing but it touches culture at the end of the day you know let me know what you guys feel about this video and if you've got any contributions to this as to why people wouldn't want to identify as whoever they are please let us know in the comment section below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video